knees up, wrapping your arms around the legs, squeezing tight, hands behind the head, two minutes of crunching. Exhale, contract, inhale, extend, using full-on mula bandha here, the root lock. Setting up the unjai breath, unjai breath, is victorious breath, victorious over everything, victorious over your body, victorious over your mind, victorious over everything that you're going through, anything that you are dealing with at the time. The breath, it's the breath. You must continue the breath. Consistent depth, consistent duration to the breath. And setting your intention in place for the practice. Your intention is to stay steady. Your intention is to get into physically and mentally as much as you want to get into, but not losing the breath as much as you can get into without losing the steadiness of the unjai breath. And you're paying close attention to the breath. Just the one breath. Just the breath you're breathing right now at this moment. Just that one breath. Pay close attention to it. How does that, that breath make you feel? How do you feel in relation to that breath? And the vinyasa practice is uh, designed to heat up the body. To boil the blood. To burn out all the impurities in the body and in the mind. So keep the heat in the body by using mula bandha and fuel that heat with the breath. And start rocking. Wrap your arms around your legs. Get going. Cross your legs. Set your hands down. Jump back to plank. Set yourself up. Set your hands up. And then lower down with your elbows in. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Long neck. Open chest. And downward facing dog. Let's go through that some more. Inhale plank. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, down to the knees if that's what it takes to keep the elbows in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep that breath smooth, synchronized with the movement. Inhale, exhale, on your own. Right foot forward, left foot flat, warrior one. Arms up, shoulders down, chest broad, left knee squeezed tight, and chaturanga. Inhale, exhale. Left foot, warrior one, and take it down. Just taking your time this first go around. Shoulders rolling out. Bend the knees and jump on an exhale. Toes together. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. Long straight back. Exhale. Fold. Tuck your chin. Inhale. Utkatasana. Squeeze the knees together. Tuck the tailbone under so you're using your belly. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Long back. Exhale. Jump back. Lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot. Where you want. Inhale. And exhale down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, back, left foot forward. Inhale up. And exhale down. Be as graceful as you can be. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, down dog. You can round the back and down dog. Draw the belly in, tuck the tailbone. Or, if it feels better, tilt the tailbone up to the sky and turn straight in the back. But let your neck hang long, rolling the shoulders out, rolling the hips in, and breath is smooth. You are smooth. You are steady, no matter what in this practice. Bend the knees and jump on an exhale. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long. Exhale, float and lower. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, down dog right foot. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, left foot. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And keep breathing. Keep inhaling and exhaling in down dog. As if you were moving. That's the steadiness you're looking for in a yoga practice. Bend them and jump. Inhale, long back. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long. Exhale, jump and lower. Inhale. Exhale, right foot. Inhale up. Take it down. Inhale. Exhale, left foot on the same exhale. And inhale up. And then exhale down. Roll up. Down dog. Steady as you. Rolling those shoulders out, leaning to one side or the other if you like. And bend them and jump. Inhale, long. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long. Exhale, jump. Inhale. Exhale, right foot, warrior one. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, left foot. Inhale. Exhale. Use that throat to control the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Bend them and jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale up, Utkatasana. Hands to the heart. Twist into your right. Every vertebrae. Tuck your chin, turn your head. Don't take your head back. Tuck your chin. Open chest. Draw the belly in. Don't release Mula Bandha here. Long neck, open heart. Knees stay square to the front, and you are steady. And other side. And center. And fold. And breathe. You can push in 
with your hands. You can pull in, wrapping your hands around your, your legs. Or you can just hang. hands on the hips inhale roll up open chest hands to the heart that's your warm-up right there inhale arms up exhale fold inhale long half lift exhale jump back lower down inhale exhale right foot or you one Get that left knee strong. Plant yourself in firmly. And exhale it down. Vinyasa. Other side. What you want. Vinyasa. Remember the hands always go in the same place. Warrior one, right side. Inhale up. Exhale, open up warrior two. Taking it down, vinyasa. Left side. Open up, will you two? And take it down, vinyasa. Warrior one, right side. Exhale, warrior two. Pars of a kanasana, forearm on the leg. Side angle pose. Keeping your forearm on your leg or dropping the hand on the outside. Maybe on your hand, maybe in the fist. Outside of the leg, squeezing your leg in your arm. Keep the pose linear. Roll that left shoulder out and breathe. Draw the belly in. Keep Mula Bandha active. Open the chest. Be smooth. Be smooth with breath. That breath represents you and vinyasa. Left side. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. And drop into it. Parsvakanasana. Open that left hip. Squeeze that leg into the arm. If the arm is down, it doesn't have to be. Keep that forearm on the leg. Draw in that belly. Open up that chest. Vinyasa. Bakasana, crow pose. Either jump into it or step into it, digging the elbows into the insides of the legs. Don't have to lift your feet up for this, or jump into it, getting the knees into the triceps, toes touch. Keep your hands planted firmly into the mat. Don't let them come up, you'll hurt your wrist. Jumping back, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, right foot, lunge forward, 
up on the left toes, hands to the heart, arms up, bringing the elbows towards one another, bend the arms, looking up. Left knee strong, breath steady. Hands to the heart, lean forward, twist to your right. Left elbow, right leg, chest lifted, and you're steady. Untwist. Down to the knee, left hand supports you. Turn to your right, grab that left foot from the outside of the foot. Drop that left side of the body down and turn and look back at the foot. And release, stepping back, vinyasa. Left foot forward, lunge. Hands to the heart. Securing the right knee. Arms up. Bringing the elbows towards one another as you bend the arms and look up. Hands to the heart, lean forward, twist to your left. Looking down, right hand down. Go down to the knee, reach back with the left hand, grab the right foot from the outside. Drop that right side of the body down. Turn and look back at the foot. And release. Step it back, vinyasa. Keep them elbows in. Right foot, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the leg, inhale, jump the feet two and a half feet apart. Point them straight ahead or pigeon toed, hands behind the back, fold forward, dropping the head. Inhale up, exhale arms out. Right arm under left arm, eagle arms. Squatting back, knees come in a bit, rolling the hips in, breathing steady. Inhale up, jumping the feet out, warrior two, and a little reverse warrior. Secure that left knee, you bend that right arm, side bend back to the left, breathing big, one exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, roll up, exhale, down dog, left foot forward, inhale up. Exhale, open up. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, turn the foot in. Bigger step, hands to the hips. Inhale back. Exhale, slide the hands down the legs. Grab something. Inhale long. Exhale, pull down. Shoulders going down the back, making the neck long. And breath is steady.
hands to the hips. Inhale up. Arms out. Heels in. Left arm under right arm. Squatting straight down. Eagle arms, horse pose. Pivot the feet, warrior two, and reverse warrior. One exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, exhale. Right foot steps halfway up, left foot turns out. Parsvatanasana. Either backs of the hands on the back, working the elbows forward, or reverse prayer. Square in the hips and fold them forward. Drawing the kneecaps up. Stretch the back of the legs. And be steady. Drop in the hands, step in the left foot next to the right foot. Left hand on the hip, right hand on the knee or the toe. Inhale up with the toe in your hand. Standing up straight, strong, Mula Bandha active, and you are steady. And open up to the right. Maybe looking to the left. Bringing it back center, both hands. Grabbing the foot or underneath the leg. And lifting up. Don't sacrifice the foundation of that left leg. Swing that right leg back. Same pose, other side. Hands behind the back, square hips. Exhale, fold forward. Dropping the hand, stepping the right foot up. Right hand on the hip. Left two fingers around the big toe. Inhale up. And be steady. And open up. Maybe looking to the right.
Bring it back. In both hands. And swing it back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Breathe. 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 Couple breaths out of the mouth, perhaps. Clean yourself out. And plank. Holding steady, spreading the fingers wide. Plant them firmly into the mat. You can also flip your feet over. Leave the toes touching so that you can use Mula Bandha more efficiently, circulating the energy rather than letting it shoot out your toes. Tuck the tailbone under, tuck your chin under, round your back. But be steady. Side plank, leaving the right hand where it is. Roll onto the right side of the body. Several different foot options. Left arm up. Be steady. Roll the right shoulder out as it supports you. And switch sides. And be steady. And take vinyasa. Back to child's pose. You place your hands back by your feet and rest your shoulders. Coming up. And onto your belly. Interlace your fingers behind the back. Squeeze your feet together. Engage every muscle in the back of your body. Draw hot oxygenated blood to the back of your body. Lift up. Bend your knees. Grab your feet. Bow pose. Kicking up. Open up your shoulders. Open up your chest. Get that vertebrae right behind your heart. And lower down. Push up and back. Child's pose again. Coming up and into pigeon right side. Do your best to keep your hips square to the mat and your left leg pointed straight back. But if you got to roll over to your right side, that's fine.
coming up. Keeping the hips square, bending the left knee. Reaching back with the left hand and grabbing the foot from the instep. Just pull it in or push it down. And release. Step back to downward facing dog and walk that, that right leg out. Secure the knee, the ankle, the hip. And take the left leg up in the air. Roll the left hip on top of the right hip as you're lowering the right heel down. And stretch out that right leg and hip. Be steady. And take it over if you want. You're on the right arm, right shoulder, right shoulder. Roll that right shoulder out. Lift chest high. Look at the mat. Drop the left arm across the chest and twist, taking the bend out of the back first. Twist the spine. And pigeon, left side. Slowly coming up, grabbing that right foot with the right hand, And release. Stepping back, down dog, secure the left leg. And right hip up. Leaning into the left leg. And drop it over. Roll the left shoulder out. As you use it to support your weight. Lifting the chest high. And look at the mat. Drop the arm across the chest. Take the bend out of the back and twist the spine. And bringing it back in vinyasa. Five breaths. Downward facing dog. And coming into a seated position. Legs out in front of you. Hands back for Purvatanasana. Shoulders way back. Chest high. Lift up. Leave the toes together. Take the head back. Plant the hands in firmly. And be steady. And lower down. 
and forward bend here hands behind the head shoulders down lean forward until you find that spot right where you need to be you can tuck the chin or you can lengthen the neck or you can grab the feet grabbing the feet isn't necessarily a deeper variation of the pose Coming up and onto your back. Hands behind the head, legs up. Exhale, lift up, tailbone off the mat. Every exhale, lots of mula bandha. Draw the belly in, crunch up as high as you can crunch with straight legs. You can slowly start lowering the legs on the inhale, just as long as the lower back doesn't come up. And start rocking. Wrap your arms around your legs. Crossing your ankles. Setting your hands down. Jumping back. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Coming into seated again. Right heel in towards the tailbone. Right hand outside of left foot. Thumb down. Left arm wraps around and you twist to your left. So you're lifting the chest high. Pulling the right arm straight. Tuck your chin and turn your head. Breathe steady. Untwist, both hands grab foot. Square and shoulders to the mat. Janu Shursasana. Coming up, taking vinyasa. Back into seated left side left hand right foot right arm wraps lift chest high and twist every vertebrae at the same resistance
and release in both hands folding over the right leg Coming up, crossing the leg under, jumping back. Vinyasa. Down to your knees for hero. So knees together, feet apart, sitting in between your feet ultimately. You can also sit on your feet. Cup in your left hand with your right hand, close your eyes, be still. Coming up and out of the pose into downward facing dog and securing what you just stretched. Knees, ankles, hips. Breathing fully. And coming into seated again. On your back. Legs up. Shoulders stand. No shoulders underneath you. You can either interlace your fingers or place your hands on your lower back. Be very careful of the cervical vertebrae here. Changes at a subtle rate. So, subtle sensation. Nothing more than that. Allowing the thin blood to flush out of the legs and back to the heart. And lowering your legs over your head for plow. Being extra careful on the cervical vertebrae.
and slowly rolling back down. If you want to stop and grab your ankles and find that tight spot in your back. And then just roll down. Go flat. Palms up. Let it settle for a moment. And slowly coming up to a seated position. Sitting straight, finding some stillness, eyes closed. It is here where we realize on a conscious level the effects of the practice. Not allowing yourself to fidget and notice in the stillness. And from that stillness, noticing the fidgeting, the fidgeting of the body, the fidgeting of the mind. But as long as you don't give in to that and you remain completely still, you've found yoga. Allow the breath to come in and out as it pleases. You're no longer controlling it. And just notice it. It is happening right now. Right here. Just notice it. If you get distracted, once you realize you've been distracted, just slowly return your attention to the breath. That's all. Hands to the heart. And 
one bow. Take rest. Lie flat. Let everything settle. Let everything line up. 